What's up guys, it is Jay Beeps here and welcome to another episode of the Qingdao FC Career Mode series. In today's episode, things go pretty differently than last season. If you remember from last season, we we were pretty much the worst team in the league, third from bottom, not at all exactly where you want to be. But in t this season, we do turn things around. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you want to see the last episode, go ahead, check it out on my channel, and let's get into today's episode. So we are starting off with someone who has been in my youth academy for all of, all of last season, who I, I've been so excited to finally promote, and that is Zong Li. 65 overall, 86 to 92 potential. Cannot wait for this man to join the first team. Oh, I don't feel the same, however, about Du Wang Wang. Chinese right back, 66, 70 potential. He's purely going up to be some extra meat. Liu Dong is joining the first team. Again, he's just going to ride the bench. Same goes for Dong Kao and Qi Zhao. Someone who will not be riding the bench is this man, Calvin Ramsey. Bought him from... Aberdeen in Scotland, 2.5 mil for the very young, promising right back. Really, really think he's going to end up being something special for us. Same goes for Moses Nyman, young attacking, young defensive mid from the United States of America, $750 weekly, weekly wage, very, very cheap. He's got pretty decent potential. I think it's like 73, 74. So hopefully he can step in and join on mm -hmm. drawn day in our defensive mid positions. And as you guys know, I love a youth academy scout. I love the youth academy going to China for nine months and to Korea and rounding off the Asian area, Japan. And for the second season in a row, we get to start our season at home as we are hosting Shenzhen FC at the Kansan Stadium. And this is the team that I'm gonna be going with. Long is going to be in goal, Vukovic and Bruns are the center backs, Ramsey and Lee outside backs, Andrade, Nyman, defensive mids, Cisse, Green on the wings, Yuan is the attacking mid, and Gattermeyer is the man up top. And here is the full game clip. And the game begins. They need to get tighter. Could be troublesome. Gives it a go. No way through. Denied once more. Good looking ball. Well, the fans have been wondering how this might go. It is his debut game. Stuart. Oh, he's in behind them here, Derek. And a goal! Just what the fans wanted to see. The ideal way to begin. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding, and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. Nil then. Guacasso. And played the pass well. And continues his run. And it's played into the center. Oh, superb technique! But off the frame of the goal. Well, it was a great effort. It takes a lot of skill to control the volley like that. It really is unlucky. Bad pass. Surely. Well, the keeper is happy. The bar was there. Not to be advised giving the ball away there. That's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. Well, they were so close to the equaliser there. They're certainly a bit unlucky, but they need to make more of these chances. 
That was perfectly timed, and it is going to be a corner. Who's going to get on the end of it? Able to get a body in the way. They're really pressing their opponents. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. Well, they're not standing off their opponents in the slightest. Fruitful looking attack. Oh, what an opportunity! He's got to miss that guilt edged opportunity. Well, sometimes in these 1v1 scenarios, you have too much time to think about it. He should do better for me, though. Order Christian Selnes. Space afforded him. The cross is on. Promising position, this. Can they get in behind them? Makes his way in field. Must be! Might still be able to do a bit of damage. Cutting the ball back. Great challenge. He got nothing but ball. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Well, still behind here, but only due to some incredible goalkeeping. Surely it's only a matter of time. Oh, they could be in here, Stuart. Keeper getting the touch. On a time for composure on the ball. So a throw in here. Andrade with it. Well, couldn't find a teammate, unfortunately. And a throw in to come. Careless in possession. Good technique displayed. And threading it forward. No shortage of excitement. Level again. No wonder they're excited. Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area. And then just look at the finish, Derek. He reads the flight perfectly and absolutely smashes it beyond the goalkeeper. There's just no stopping that. So, a level contest, 1-1. Read it magnificently and intercepted. Juan Quintero. And showing fine vision. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts off with that cross into the box, just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it. And it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. Well, as they kick off again, 2-1 the current state of affairs. Well, it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? And that is going to mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there. Could play it in. Cutting infield here. The attack fizzled out.
Well, getting close to the half-time interval and the story so far, they're not really making home advantage count. Stuart, your take. Well, they're certainly not out of this. They can't miss, surely. And a goal! They've increased their lead and they don't want to be throwing it away from here. Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal. And then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. So back underway. 3-1 the score. Juan Quintero. Dangerous looking attack. Well, oh, flinging himself at it. Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, he was closely marked, but the header well off target. The first half here comes to an end. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. And Lee. Green has it. since they have the ball a referee playing advantage here and unable to pick out a teammate and that'll be a throw at Chiampong there to take it away And scope for them to produce something exciting. Oh, managing to beat him. Cuts it back. Not to be. And still chasing this game. Well, that was the chance to get back into this. As it is, they're going to struggle now. Alan Kardec. Oh, lovely incisive pass. Oh, could be a chance. Well, he was on his own, but couldn't take advantage of it. Well, I'm not surprised he missed that. He never really looked in complete control, did he? Green. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw-in. referee correctly decided to play advantage it's opening up for them really good challenge Juan Quintero well the visitors have controlled possession as you can see and as a result have dominated the game some of their passing movements have been a joy to watch and I don't think anything's going to change that and no problems whatsoever for the goalkeeper Green now on the offensive space and time for the cross able to deal with the threat Giving it away. And he read it well.
That is tackling of the highest order. And plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position. Cross could be useful. Well, they had a decent reading of that ball in. Might be a chance here. And a goal! He's doubled his total for the day in superb scoring form. Here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. Well, not too much defending going on in the grand scheme of things. 4-1. great piece of individual skill is this the moment and a goal to delight the fans just what they were hoping for well here we can see it again look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself and his movement's so clever once he gets onto it there's only one thought in his head smash it as hard as possible what a good goal So the current scoreline, 4-2. Just 15 minutes remaining. Juan Quintero. Alan Kardec. Juan. Oh, he's given us away. gone out and it is going to be a goal kick substitution time it is here not giving him a moment's peace good tackle and a very good challenge A very effective clearance. Into the advanced position. And lining it up. And not cleared away properly. Oh, he's done it. But hang on. Offside is the verdict here. It's not going to stand. Well, you can tell he thought he was onside here. But the assistant, I think, got it absolutely right. Kardec Quintero on the ball and continues his run and reading it absolutely superbly and they'll get ready for the throw in will he play it in And it's gone behind for the corner. Who can he pick out? Danger averted for now. And he keeps going. Let's fly here. And getting across to stop it. Played over. Will struggle to get it away properly. Can they get in behind them? 
And he takes it on. Oh, really good reflexes and danger averted. And over it comes. Well, as a defender, that will sit you down to the ground. Now, what can they do from here? And a decent delivery. And a goal to seal the hat-trick! A masterclass in finishing. Just can't stop him today. Here's the replay, and it all starts off with that cross into the box. Just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it. And he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. And there it is, the final. Okay, so not the way you want to start a season, a 5-2 loss. But the same thing happened last season. But things obviously should be going better for us. We have such a better team. So hopefully this is a turning point, not a sign of, of things to come. So we're already at the halfway point. Nothing really happened, but we are currently sitting in sixth, just five points off of the playoffs. And at the time of recording this, I did not know that there were playoffs in this league. So I learned something new uh, later on in this series. So Chung So Jung will be joining the first team South Korean right back. I'm converting him to a defensive midfielder because we already have a good right back and he's a very good passer and a five-star weak foot. So he should be joining the first team at that defensive mid spot. So G will not be, however. He will hopefully, I don't know, because see Andrade, the player who I signed last episode, I really want him to end up being our starter because, you know, it would be a good story for me. But honestly, with the way he's progressing, I don't think it's going to be. So G might end up being the starter. And Maeda from Japan will also be joining the first team at 65 overall, 87 to 94 potential. Very, very quick, very good dribbler. Just work on the passing and the shooting a little bit. He's the perfect player. Natsume is also joining the first team at that attacking mid spot. Very pacey, very good dribbler, excellent passer, and he has the leadership trait. He will be our captain, and I'm just probably going to have him start every single game now. Yasu Tagome will also be joining the first team. Probably just going to end up going out on loan because of how loaded we are at that attacking mid position, but he's a very good passer, and with the development plan on him, should be a perfect all-around attacking mid shortly. So, Li, Liu Jiaishin will be departing the club. He will be joining the Changzhou Lions. Alejandro Andrade, I have decided to sell him to Swedish side Sirius for $1 million. He's obviously not going to be starting anymore. Dynamic potential did not, did not work for him at all, so I will see him later. Not... Wang Ho will be departing the club. He no longer plays. Again, defensive mid position is very, very full now. He will be joining Wigan Athletic. Chi Zhao has departed the club. I have sold him to Stevenage. John Peter Cisse will be going on a two-year loan move to Italian side for Lazella. Yi Ren has departed the club. He will be joining Shangdong Taishan, fellow Chinese side, for $3.1 million. We didn't really want to sell him, but attacking mid and defensive mid, we are so loaded in, decided to get rid of him. How Yuan will be going on a short loan move to French side Stade Batois. Dong Kao will be departing the club. He will be joining Style Milik for 340000 Chi Young Mao will also be departing the club for just over a million dollars. Dong Zhu will be departing the club, joining, I think that's... Japanese side Kashiwa Raisol for just under 2 million. And now that we're done getting rid of players, we're bringing some players in. Yang Kong from the Youth Academy. It's going to take a lot to start for any of these guys in our team. I mean, even this guy, very good potential. He's just not going to probably end up starting. Same goes for Yi Jung Jian. He, however, this man, Tang, might actually end up starting. At the, I mean, you look in the top left corner, we only have one attacker, 
things are obviously quite uh, skinny for us at that attacking at that attacking position. So I have development plan on him to get his shooting up a lot, a good chunk more. Then I'll switch him to striker, who will be, I think, actually starting at the goalkeeper spot. I think that's one position I haven't really found out yet. I am very annoyed. He does only have 50 positioning, so I might get very frustrated at him. So I won Manager of the Month in the month of September. You know, it's a, it's a pretty cool thing to win Manager of the Month. Sam Long will be departing the club all of next season. He will not be here. He's going to be on a one-year loan move at Young Boys over in Switzerland because who I have decided will end up being our full-time starter. Except for now, this man will be our full-time starter. Okamoto from Japan, 68 overall. Quite obviously the better keeper. He's going to be our new starter. And we got a big game today at the Bay as we face Beijing Guan at the Kansan Stadium. And this is the team that we're going with. Okamoto is now our goalkeeper. And the rest of the team, you guys already know. Actually, no. Ji and Jung are new at defensive mids. And Maeda and Natsume. But this starting 11 you guys should get very used to it because it's probably going to be the starting 11 for the rest of the series. And here is the game. Could be. Can they stop it going in? Well, he was close to goal, but that's... Can they forge ahead? And providing width. And delivered into the box. Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. Opportunity it is. And there is the opening goal. Well, arguably against the run of play, they've been second best up to this point. Oh, he's really opened them up here. And a goal to increase their advantage. It's a two-goal lead now. Good-looking move, this. And delivered towards the back post. And with tackling like that, the onus is on the referee to take action, potentially. Well, he's gone into the book. Well, he was late, and he deserved a booking for that. Beautiful 3-0 victory. I mean, we took advantage of our chances that we got. Strikers and everyone shot very well today. Defense played a very good job. And we got a nice 3-0 victory. And we got another game as we were hosting Wuhan FC at the Kansan Stadium. And of course, it's the same lineup as it always is. Here's the gameplay. And now they get the ball rolling. a weighted pass pretty routine there for the goalkeeper
Well, plenty of talk about him from the pundits coming into today's match. The rumours are true. He's going to end his wonderful career at the end of the season. And what a loss for the club. That is bound to be, Stuart. Well, it's slightly surprising because... He's... Oh, look at this, Stuart. An opportunity. What a block. That's a foul. And it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. Well, it is close, Derek, but in the end, not close enough. He just can't get it down in time. Into the advanced position. Might jump in front. Well, there to intercept. Well, attacking possibilities. Oh, fancy footwork. Well, here's the goal again. It's all about the little Maradona turn to beat his man. Leaves him for dead. Ridiculous to be seeing that at this level. Well taken finish as well. It's a stunning goal. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Anderson Lopez making progress but nothing comes of it good defending it was a really intense pressure applied not to be in terms of the cross there. Goal kick coming up. Oh, maybe the equaliser. It's opening up for them. It should be. Again, the woodwork. Great pressure to win the ball back. Could be threatening. And a fine cross. And he knows he must thump it away. Well, nothing comes of it. Hao Jun Min. And now they have the ball back. Untidy on the ball. to deal with the threat. Counter-attacking, very much an option. It'll go harmlessly through to the goalkeeper. Good work to win the ball back high up the pitch. Good tackle, it'll be a throw. The tackle completely mistimed, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. Well, he's gone into the referee's notebook. And he can't be surprised. That was a poor challenge, you have to say. And just wide. There really wasn't much in that at all. It's with G. Green. Can they get in behind them? But they took care of the situation defensively. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. Clears it away.
important interception. And that is how to beat your opponent. Can they convert? Oh, we have just witnessed a special moment. Pure quality. Well, just look at this turn. And the finish isn't bad either. That's a great goal. So, 2-0 now. Anderson Lopez. Just knocking it around, looking to carve out a chance. Played into the box. Now, that was never likely to trouble the keeper. And Lee. Oh, that's an interesting pass. And just one minute of time added on for stoppages. On the ball, Jung. And he takes on the shot. Determined defending. Corner kick played in. Not really the ideal clearance. Brilliantly blocked. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. Teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Green. G. Jagos Vukovic. On the ball, Jung. It's with G. And back with Jung. G. Poor pass. The outcome is a goal kick here. And a substitution in the offing. It's with G. Lee. Green has it. On the ball, Jung. Well, as you can see, the hosts have had most of the ball. Yes, they've played well when going forward, but it's been their ability to regain the ball which has made them so hard to play against here, and it makes them such a good team. It's been a brilliant performance so far. Dicing with a bit of danger here. Good pressure. Can they make something of this? G. And the counter looks on here. Options available.
Well, with tackling like that, the onus is on the referee to take action, potentially. And that is going to mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there. Well, you might say, taking everyone by surprise, he didn't miss by much. Well, this is all about his technique. The ball seems to gather pace the closer it gets to goal. That's a really good effort. Here's Lee. Green now. Good movement. Oh, the threat is there. Chance to finish. And that's the hat-trick. Tearing apart this defence time and again. They simply can't handle him. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. Three goals without reply. Taken away, he won the ball. Not the best challenge, free kick. Struggling to get it away. And I think the threat has been averted. There to take it away. good reading of the game to win possession back excellent refereeing advantage in operation and unable to keep the ball well it could be on for him here the keeper diving magnificently to make sure he got there Over it comes, and the danger still on. And an attempt best forgotten, I think. And into the last 15 minutes of action. Kouassi. They know they need to stop him. Now, will the cross work out for them? Well, it still could be dangerous. And in the end, no damage done. Now, counter attacking possibilities here. Well, it looked highly promising, but it came to nothing in the end. Happy to take on the shot. Oh, he really bruised the crossbar. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. How Jun Min. Now potential danger. Now not the best challenge. And a goalkeeper on top of his game. Well, it's great goalkeeping. What a big save that is. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Who can they pick out? Well, they would have been disappointed had he spilled that one. And back with Jung. A very good tackle. Firing it in. And there it is. A goal. But will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at their best. Well, here it is again. It was a good finish, but the keeper has to do better at his near post. He was beaten far too easily on that occasion.
So there it is, 3-1 the current scoreline here. Well, by playing keep ball like this, they're keeping the opposition at bay. Well, here we can see just how good this goal is. It has everything. Skill, pace and power. There was no stopping him there. Goals in plentiful supply. 4-1 currently. The referee's verdict is three additional minutes. Anderson Lopez. Dong Shui Sheng. Could be dangerous. Well, he didn't catch it badly, but certainly questions to be asked about the lack of accuracy there. And there it is, the final. So a 4 1 victory, the perfect way to cap off a very, very good season. Absolute domination in that final game. Things are going good for us. Joining the first team from the Youth Academy will be Nakasawa, Japanese left wing back. I'm converting to left back. Don't know if he's going to start. He might, but we'll have to see how things go. Y Yamashita will also be joining the first team to be a backup at that right mid position, just because overall potential aren't high enough. Zhang Zhang will also be Yang Zhang will be joining the club to just end up being sold. Joe will be departing the club to probably go out on loan because natural 5-star, 4-star, very good potential. Ku will be joining the club and probably going out on loan. Shen will be joining the club to be a backup goalkeeper. Tang will be joining the club to probably be a substitute because he's very pacey, which is very something this team doesn't really exactly excel in. Jin will be joining to compete for a backup goalkeeping spot. Same goes for him. Yang will be joining the club to be our backup striker now officially. Jin will be joining the club for a little bit of depth. And I won manager of the month in the month of November as obviously those last couple of games you saw. We ended the season on a very, very high, high, high note. But it was just not enough to make it into the playoffs. We missed out by one point. So next season, you better expect we're going hard. Ramsey, Vukovic, Lee, Green, Gattermeyer appeared in every single game. Bruns in all but one. Natsume, with only 16 appearances, ended up with 10 goals, tied with Gattermeyer for a top goal scorer. And Green led the team in assists with 12. Nice to see that Ramsey, our right back, is up here with four. So Vukovic is the only big time player that will be departing the club at the end of the season. As you can see, he's now a 64 overall. He has 19 pace. He has 19 acceleration, 19 sprint speed. It's just no longer good enough. So that's why I'm letting him go. So this is how the team is looking. I mean, we'll need a replacement for Vukovic, probably. I honestly might even get a replacement for Bruns. But other than that, the team is young. The team is improving. And I don't see why we can't make it to the playoffs and win it all next year. So guys, that is it for today's episode of the Qingdao FC Career Mode Series. Next episode, hopefully, is the last episode of the series because hopefully we can go on and win the league title. But as this video is wrapping up, I just want to say if you're still watching, thank you so much. It really, really means a lot. And obviously, if you're still watching and you're not subscribed, please do. I'm doing all these series trying to beat every single league on FIFA. And if you want to check out more of the series, just wait around a couple of seconds once the video ends to see some other series. Hope you guys enjoyed, and it is Jay Biebs signing off.